So I'm on the rooftop of the very chic Empire Hotel here in New York City, where some of the NHL's brightest stars have gathered for a media frenzy. Let's go check it out. What's going on today? Just uh, kind of buzzing around, doing uh, you know some things with uh, Versus and NBC and getting some photos taken, so it's a pretty busy day. Uh, is it more glamorous here, or would you rather just be out on the ice playing the game? Yeah, I think I'm a little more comfortable on the ice than here, that's for sure. Well, 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 look what we have here. It's a makeup table. There must be something very serious happening in this room, and I just, I don't see NHL players being too fond of wearing blush and powder, but let's go check it out. We've got Rangers goalie here, Henrik Lundqvist. I read that your twin brother, Joel, actually volunteered you to be the goalie when you guys were little kids. Is that true? <laughs> well, I played in goalie in, in soccer, and the first uh, practice on ice, he actually raised my hand when somebody asked if someone wanted to play in that, and uh, he just helped me. You know, He knew where I was supposed to be, and I knew it too, so. Yeah. Are you glad he did that? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What is it like, you know, to be the elder statesman around here? Are you showing the guys the ropes or what? Uh, <laughs> I try to if they ask, you know. I think uh, everybody's kind of well-structured now. These these young kids, they, they grew up fast, you know, like your kids. But these NHL players, one or two years in the league, and they, they know everything. So it's kind of... It's kind of nice uh, for them to have that kind of leadership already. Uh, they're all important in their own hockey teams, but uh, definitely it's kind of it feels weird a little bit to see these kids, and most of them are barely 21 years old. <laughs> Brings back some memories for you, huh? A little bit. <laughs> Good ones, though. So I'm here with Calder Trophy winner Patrick Kane of the Chicago Blackhawks. Patrick, how has life changed for you since being crowned Rookie of the Year? Oh, well, I guess I just got a nice little replica of the, of the Calder Cup to, to walk around with my drinking cup in the sun with my buddies. But um, nice, I'm sure you only yeah. put lemonade in there, right? Yeah, exactly, lemonade and you know maybe coke and water sometimes. But other than that, um, nothing else. So. Last time I saw you, we were actually on the red carpet, and you and your BFF, Jonathan Taves, kind of threw down a bet as to who was going to win the trophy. Obviously, you won. You guys have any secret bets going on behind the scenes and who's, who's going to take the trophy home tonight? Uh, I guess we can make one right now. Let's do it. Let's make one right now. All right, what are you thinking? 500 Did right. you ever get your $500? Do you remember that? Uh, he kept saying he didn't make the bet because he knew he, I was going to win. So uh, I got that on that he knew I was going to win, so he had no confidence in himself. So that's better than $500 to me. Oh, snap. A lot of the NHL's youngest stars congregating in one spot. It looks like the future of the game is pretty bright. The whole point of today's player media tour is to promote hockey and take it to the next level. One of the ways they're doing that is with a cutting edge specialty shoot. Let's go inside and see. What's more glamorous, being out in front of the cameras or defending your goal? Oh, man, I'd like to say defending your goal, but, I mean, when you're in front of the cameras, no one's booing you, so it's a little bit better, but, uh, no, I mean, every time you get to put the pads on to stand in front of, uh, you know, 20,000 people and, and, uh, and a play is great, but, uh, you know, this is a lot of fun to do on a, uh, you know, a weekday. It gives you something to do. Do you have a special model face that you use when the cameras go off? Um, I'd like to say I did, and I'd probably be uh, like everyone else that throws you the Zoolander blue steel face, right. but... Uh, <laughs> Show us your blue steel. Ooh, yeah. wow, that's nice. I hit, I hit Holy it. moly, it just got really hot in here. It did. So that's our behind the scenes look at the player media tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And as you can see, the players are pretty smooth off the ice, but the countdown to hockey season has begun. We're only about a month out. So the next time you see those guys, they'll be strutting their stuff on the ice. As for me, well, this is New York City after all. I think it's time to go shopping, maybe hit up Broadway, see if I can catch Patrick Kane and some ballet.